morning, guys. Thank you for coming by. Uh, talking for the Innovation Awards this year, talking about the Altman Spectre Psych 200, a uh, new fixture that we introduced this past March, uh, USITT trade show uh, in, uh, in the US. Uh, Psych 200 is a 200 watt LED psych light using a 200 watt LED array with an asymmetrical reflector. It's a patented system with the asymmetrical reflector and a blending lens on the linear LED array to give you an even wash, even distribution of light over a surface. The picture wants to be about four feet off the surface and can go on eight foot to ten foot centers, uh, or approximately uh, three meters in terms of spacing between the fixtures and looking at a throw distance of up to 30 feet, or up to about 10 meters. Uh, that's for individual fixtures, of course, then spacing those to be able to get, again, continually even distribution over that surface. This builds upon what we had done with the Psych 100, 100 watt version of this fixture, which has been around since about 2005. Uh, so it's a continuation of that series. We've also just introduced the 50 watt version of the Spectre Psych, uh, but the 200 is really the, the key to this product at the moment in terms of what we're doing for larger theatrical applications. Uh, great for just about anything in terms of what it can do um, in terms of, of uh, theatrical application for any size space. Uh, great for smaller spaces, but also excellent for larger spaces, larger theaters, opera houses. We may be looking at uh, sites that are much higher, much taller, much wider. This is something that is doing what other fixtures have not been able to do previously. Uh, it is not a grazing fixture. It's not something where you're going to be right up on top of the site, but what it gives you in return for that is working like a traditional site light would. What we have been finding recently is direct replacement for the four cell, thousand watt per cell site lights, which Altman has also been known for for years, and using this as a direct one-to-one -one replacement for those types of fixtures. Uh, on this, DMX and power pass-through. We can do power pass-through using PowerCon, uh, up to 10 fixtures for the 200 watt version of the fixture, and of course DMX 5 pin uh, for control. Multiple levels of control, all configurable at the fixture. It has both 8 and 16 bit built into the fixture in terms of being able to, or how you're going to run that, what level of, of flexibility that you need. Additionally, we can set it for uh, master on or off for dimming. So in 8-bit, for example, you've got a four or five channel fixture. Four channels being typically your RGBA color mixing. The fifth channel would be your intensity. Uh, in 16-bit, double those numbers. Going beyond that, this fixture is available, as I said, in RGBA. Also available RGBW color mixing. Available in 3,000 Kelvin white and available in three to 6,000 Kelvin variable color temperature. So it can be used as a theatrical fixture. It can also be used for architectural applications. We get a lot of call for the white versions of this fixture uh, for TV studios as well, lighting green screens. Again, even distribution of light, even wash over that surface. Also allows it for some unusual applications like lighting ceilings and lighting domes. So it's something we've seen for that because it is an LED source. It can, be, it can burn essentially in any orientation so it can be set onto its back to evenly light up a ceiling surface. So in some cases, it's a one trick pony. It's a wall wash fixture, but it does that one trick really, really well. And have you been able to deal with the uh, color discrepancy issues you had with your first generation? We have. Um, we have done a couple of different things with that. We've, we've modified our uh, calibration process, but we've also restricted our binning so that we're able to keep that bin down to a, a much tighter uh, a much tighter uh, number of bins, selections of bins, yeah. So we're using really one bin uh, now where we're using more initially. And I mean, Altman's been in the LED business since about 2004 for our initial offerings, and so we've been expanding upon that. We've learned a lot of things over those years. So that was this, the, the original Spectre Psych yeah. was one of the first fixtures that Altman had come out with uh, in LED. We've, we've gone a long way since then. Uh, probably the biggest thing for the Spectre Psych in terms of large professional application was the use of the Spectre Psych 100 on Spider-Man uh, on Broadway that Don Holder had specified. There's 56 of them on the back wall of that Psych shooting through. So it's an unconventional application, but the only fixture that would have done what it did. Uh, and Don has said that, and he has uh, looked at this very favorably and is looking at specifying this now for additional uh, Broadway applications. I've got a editor that buys a site full of these now and it buys more next year. 
how can it calibrate them all together? It's a calibration system that the, the calibration system that we use internally allows us to do that, allows us to work with the fixtures to get multiple fixtures to be able to, to match.